na traffic in the uh, My people are great and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. For today, I want to show them about the yester soccer way. So I was really talk to the engineer when they do the soccer way. You get one or two things when you go talk concerning the soccer way, and I was really asking the price of the biodigester soccer way. So, okay, engineer, okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, okay, sir, wake up. Mm -hmm. Now, concerning this biodigester, I want me to explain more to our people. Uh, the biodigester soccer way. Yeah. This is what we call a. Uh, this is what we call a uh, biodigester. Okay. This is only for waste. Okay. Why we call it biodigester is that the waste digests itself. Okay. So it digests through biodegradable decomposition of a uh, waste. Okay. That's why we call biodigester. Biodigester. Okay. And this uh, size of biodigester. Yes. Control about uh, five toilet or six toilet. In fact, this size can control eight toilet in a house. Okay. Without uh, getting fill up. Okay. No evacuation of waste. Okay. No rat. Okay. No cockroach. Okay. No flies. Okay. It's an odorless system. Okay. And how does it digest itself? Is because of the enzyme through the reaction of the chemical enzyme, okay. which we are going to put. Okay. And what happens is that anytime waste enter, this chemical uh, enzyme. Okay. React with the waste. Okay. React with the waste. As it react with the waste, mm. it digests itself. Okay. So as it is now, as we put, whether you build your house and you leave it for ten years, okay, or for twenty years, okay. or for one year, okay. before you leave inside, this chemical still remain like that. Okay. The reaction only takes place when waste and water enter. That okay. is when the reaction takes place. Okay. So that is how we call a. Bow digester. Bow digester. So it digests itself. Okay. So, okay, engineer, yeah. this is about the digester when the bow digester is so when they do so, mm. the hems are when they pour. So, what about the effects, sir? Not whether you get effect as maybe as long. Yeah, it does not have any effect because what is here is called bow, as the name bow. Mm -hmm. It means biological. It's okay. natural thing that God created. Okay. So, the, the white or the Onyibo people. Okay. They change it into chemical. Okay. So once it falls inside here, it become a, 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 a it, it work in a natural way. Okay. And so as it work in a natural way, it digests the waste. And this enzyme that you see fights against uh, infection. Okay. So that is why we tell people don't be afraid of uh, when we recommend the kind of soup you need to wash the toilet yes. or WC with. Don't be afraid. With this, you are covered. It fights against infection. Okay. So any infection that they call toilet infection, you will not have it in your house or in your toilet. Okay. So, that is the, so this one does not have any effect. So okay. it's just natural thing that God created. And then the white people produce it in a, a chemical format. So okay. once it enters here, water and shit, it reacts with it. Okay. So what about the kind of soap with the feed they wash their toilet? No, we always tell them that they shouldn't wash with... Uh, with hard substance. Mm -hmm. There is what we call hard substance, chemical mm -hmm. that is very hard. Mm -hmm. That chemical that is not, that for example, you use that soup on your skin, it will burn you, or it will react to your skin. Mm -hmm. So it will also disturb the enzyme. So that's why we tell them, don't wash it with hard substance. Okay. We tell them, for example, hard substance is like, uh, I know if you carry, uh, for example, a area is high, high in uh, this thing, uh, hypo is also hard, mm -hmm. then a happy. This clean, this uh, clean liquid chemical, if okay. you put it, it will peel your skin. Okay. So we recommend that they don't wash it with that. They okay. wash it with a mild substance soup. That okay. mild substance soup is like a morning fresh. Okay. That's what's uh, Or any other liquid mild soup that can okay. deal with it. What about uh, somebody flush condom or pampas? If you flush in, uh, if you flush in condom or pampas, it won't do anything. The only thing that it will, it will cause a slush. You know, this enzyme cannot eat those things. Okay. And then even on normal soccer way, you know, uh, condom and pampas block soccer way. Mm. So it will still cause blockage. That's the only thing. So we, the only thing is that once it is mush, mm. plumber will remove it. Okay. That's the only thing. It doesn't digest. Okay. Condom, sanitary part, pampas does not digest. Okay. So we tell our client, instead of you to flush in this kind of thing inside and cause blockage to your soccer way, okay. put it inside nylon, dispose it or you burn it. Okay. That is the way of the... What about this? 
Enzyme when they your hands. So you know if you shove the pampas or condom. No, you know if you chop. Enzyme when they feed on waste. That's why we call it badish. You can this thing. If you feed on waste, it does not chop condom. Okay. So uh, and uh, I see another thing here. What if this very one? That is charcoal. Charcoal, what is on the city to for inside? It work within the system. As in work within the system. What with, with the system? It add, like, to, it add to the effective of this thing. Like how uh, which can work down what they do? That what the control order. Huh? The control order. Okay, this is very charcoal, the yes. control order. Yes. So that means uh what you have to also you know if they know the yes man from this uh soccer way. Yes. Okay, they feel it nearer. Uh uh. The huh? one where they use in my own house, my own compound where they stay. Mm. If you come, I open them, you go see chop food, you know, you see flies. Okay. You know, go specific order. You can even sleep, put your nose inside, you will not perceive anything. Okay. Even every morning when I wake up, I even go and open it and do uh, and do video mm. to see whether I will see shit inside. Okay. So I will not see shit. If I see shit, it's the fresh one mm. that we just flushing. So okay. me and I try to say, okay, let me test this, let me see so that I'll be confident in telling people that what I'm showing to them or what I'm telling them is actually working. Okay. So that's what we are using. So uh, the other day when one uh, client called me, mm. and my friend just tell her concerning your work, mm. I send her for her to uh, just uh, uh, WhatsApp. Mm. And he called me, he said whether well, this very thing we do here, this about that just an re or on a scan. I see you there, the record and Nascan scan been Ari. Now read this, you know, say people must ask <laughs> questions. Is that say, uh, uh, three feet deep? Uh, I can three uh, feet deep go. You're the chops on with that, you know, go, you know, go. Uh, that and that's the question that you ask. The same thing you also ask them say, when the Yoruba people started, when the white started about saying something they fly for air, yeah, they started it that something they fly for air. Nobody believed them to the end Africa, the Guinan sea plane flying. Now we discover that they say there is what motor that can drive on top of water. Okay. But it has not got into Africa. But very soon we we'll see motor that will drive on top of Africa. So the same thing, the country or the whites that introduced this thing, if mm. we check, we have this uh, about digester in so many countries. Okay. We have it in uh, Egypt. The Egypt only is that the water that come out from here, they even recycle it and drink the water. Okay. Because it's a clean water that come out from here. Okay. We have it in China, we have it in uh, Dubai, we have it in uh, Cameroon, we have it in uh, Ghana, we have it in Botswana, Kenya. So in India, somebody called me from India the, three days ago and said it has been in India over 12 years now. Okay. So it is something that just entered Nigeria. So it is real. Okay. So as you are recording it, you should also tell people that what I'm seeing here is real. Exactly. That's so what, that's what so it's, a, it's, it's something, you know, the, the soccer weightings. Initially, we were familiar with our pit toilet system uh, yes. where our old fathers used to dig. Yes. When he full, they will move and go and dig another place. Exactly. And they don't put toilet inside house. So okay. They keep it outside. Yes. But that one pass, they bring somebody introduce uh, this modern one. Another okay. one say, you go feed those toilet inside house. Yes. You go flush them. You will come outside, come stay. Yes. And they dig suck away. Okay. That is the old sucker way. Okay. So now the another system has come now that they say to stop evacuation, don't spend money to evacuate. Mm. Don't spend, don't cause pollution to the environment. Yes. Don't, uh, it will stop your crockroach problem that you have crockroach in the kitchen. Mm. The whites now produce what they call bow digester. Bow digester. So yeah. maybe after 20 years or 50 years to come, mm. another thing might come out. Okay. But for now, we have bow digester. Okay. So, this side, where that one? Where that one they go? That one is uh, from. strictly for water. Okay. That Kitchen is, what's the shit from inside house now? Mm. She will come here. Mm. You come here, so mm. the water from here go flush, go out there. Okay. And soak. Okay. Kitchen that water is. and bathroom water also okay. goes. Kitchen there. water and bathroom water, water they go. Yeah. This very one. Yes. Okay. So okay, uh, about digester mark and see your engineer. So other of our viewers come across this very work we they do through mm. our channel. How much do they do for them? Uh, the price for this bow digester. Yes. It depends. What determine prices of bow digester is the number of your toilet in your house okay. and your location. Okay. If your place is waterlogged, it's different from dry land. Okay. And then if you are running a, a soccer a, a hotel that has a or house that has like 50 toilets, mm. and then somebody has house that has five toilets, okay. you cannot tell the price of that five toilet to the 50 toilets. Okay. So it is determined through the number of toilet units you have. And that is why anytime people call me, they will call me. How much do you use it to? They will first ask, how many toilets do you have in your building? Mm. Some will mention 10, 
some will mention 20. There's somebody that called me and say he has a, it's a tenant house that he, she is building, mm -hmm. that the toilets are 16. Now, the toilet that is 16, we cannot do one digester. Okay. We do two or three. Okay. Two, a toilet to one, a toilet to one. So the price of this one that is only one year mm -hmm. is not the same thing with that uh, price. And so that's why we always tell people that you call us, it's based on negotiation, based on your number of toilets. That okay. is how we discuss with people. Okay. This very one, so we do. So how many toilets? This one, be? this one carry. I think this house has like uh, five toilets. Be? No, one, two are there. It's five toilets that they five have. Five toilets. So this, this very one, one now. This very this one. Very one. one so this very one now. now. This very one now. Yes. The location determined too. Mm -hmm. But normally, this very one, if you go to within Benin here, mm -hmm. it is. 500,000 naira. Okay. 500,000. That okay. is with materials. Okay. But if the owner buy materials, the owner pay, if you buy materials for us to take care of all this installation and everything, you pay us 350. Okay. So that is how it is. Okay. So, Oga, Ejina, you go call your number. Shafali. 080 577. Okay. 95 okay 064 okay come again 080 mm -hmm. 577 mm -hmm. 95 okay 064 okay another number then 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90 90